The overall number, Steve, is as high as it's been since, uh, I think, July 115, a move of about four points. I guess it's just the movement in all of the or in several of the constituent parts of the index that add up to that overall number. Yeah, Tyler, this uh, this is really a, a high that we haven't seen since pre-Delta. So, you know, one of the key things that we take out of this is that Omicron doesn't seem to be deterring people. Now, part of that may be just simple COVID fatigue, that people are tired of talking about it and, you know, they're, they're not taking it quite as seriously. But also, Omicron is less lethal than prior versions. And I think that's giving people more confidence all the way around, that they can go out into the market and and, and not be risking, uh, you know, their, their life in doing that. I think this may be the, the shifting point, though, Tyler, from a, a pandemic to an endemic virus, meaning that I see us, you know, through the, the, these data showing us that, that we're adapting as a society and we're learning to live with it. It doesn't mean that it's not going to affect in-person services, you know, if people shut down or, you know, limit uh, how we engage. But it certainly it, it looks like people are adapting to it. The other piece of this, which is important, is inflation concerns are also down from 13-year highs last month. But that varied by income group. Uh, if you look at the, the consumer confidence index by income group, it rises as the income rises. And so consumer confidence this month was actually down among lower income groups because of inflation and because their concerns that real wage growth was not going to keep up and there might be a standard of living decline. So uh, some interesting uh, output from uh, this latest survey. So, so let me make sure I understand you. I, I, the people at the lower levels of the income scale are more concerned about inflation than people at the upper levels, which you would expect. Correct. And so, and so the consumer confidence index actually went down month to month among the lower income groups, even though it rebounded in total. That was almost completely from the higher income groups where inflation doesn't affect them quite as much. You know, they're not living day to day and, and using yeah. their income to survive uh, you know, with food and energy uh, output. So, th so those are the numbers. It paints a pretty nice picture. I'm going to ask you, as a former CEO, uh, how you would use these numbers. What would they tell you? Wh what, how would you bring them to the table, to the board, to your executive team, and use them as you look ahead to 2022? Yeah, I think I think clearly from these data, it's showing. The consumers are ready to get back into the market. You see the intent to buy housing, the intent to buy cars, uh, sailing again, appliances, and so forth. So I would, I would say this is a really bullish sign for the economy that over the next six months, consumers uh, expect to spend and that the economy should expect to grow. I would caution uh, everybody to say that inflation is a real issue here. I think wage expectations in a separate survey were at 3%. Uh, back earlier this year, and they're now closer to 4%. And you're seeing kind of a free-for-all bidding uh, war in the services sector. So the key issue is what's going to happen here with inflation. And now we believe that the Fed will act mm -hmm. quickly to keep their balance sheet. And we believe that there's going to be three interest rates hikes, hikes in 22. That will impact the cost of borrowing and everything else. So this is going to have a ripple right. effect on Quick final thought here. I was surprised that that concern over Omicron seems to be or uh, the virus seems to be receding a little bit. What was the timing of this survey? Because the real concern about Omicron seemed to hit sort of last week into this weekend. Yeah, I was surprised as well. You know, the November uh, data were entirely before Omicron. Omicron picked up right after that. So this these data were collected in the heat of of Omicron. Now, you know, it was not the last couple okay. of days, you know, but it this includes the Omicron experience so far, which is why we think that Omicron doesn't seem to be having the same kind of impact on consumer confidence and spending that Delta did. Remember, when Delta came out, consumer confidence went way down very quickly.